No argument can be brokered that we do not live in an automotive enthusiast skilled age, where even big SUVs can be ordered track ready from the factory, boasting performance numbers on par with exceptional sports cars like Porsche 911 S and Chevrolet Corvettes. We've already forgotten what the world was like before 5,200 pound utilities delivered sub 4 seconds 0 to 60 mile per hour times. Because yes, that's another barrier broken in this decade of ridiculously escalating horsepower, thanks to BMW's embatched SUVs. In developing a successor to the original X6M, BMW clearly was focused on the numbers, which are downright amazing. For starters there's that 60 mph sprint, which takes just 3.7 seconds. Or put the X6M on a drag strip where it will run the quarter mile in 12.1 seconds at 115 miles per hour both outpace the Mercedes AMG GLE 63 S Coupe, the X6M's new arch rival. It takes the X6M a tick or two for its twin turbochargers to start force feeding all 4.4 liters of V8, but once they do, the 567 peak horsepower pushes you back in the seat like an NFL running back's stiff arm. The new 8-speed automatic clicks through the gears until the X6M reaches a governed top speed of 160 miles per hour. Skid pad performance is perhaps the most inducing, at 1.01 grams. All that grip is generated thanks to some of the largest rolling stock available outside of the supercar realm. 10-inch wide front wheels shod with extra load Michelin Pilot Super Sport tires size 285-35ZR21 and 11.5-inch wide rear wheels wearing 325-30ZR21S. Those tires also help haul the X6M to a stop from 70 miles per hour in only 152 feet. That's on par with BMW's own M3 which weighs 1,600 pounds less. In fact, all of the X6M's test numbers are roughly equivalent to those of BMW's compact performance sedan. Besides performing like its smaller embadged sibling, the X6M shares some of that car's shortcomings. Steering feel in the SUV is similarly lacking, although with differing expectations given its much larger size, the calibration here is actually more appropriate. The engine sound, however, is just as artificial as in other BMW M products that use the company's pipe hidden through the stereo technology. While we don't expect a turbocharged V8 to sound as good as a flat plane crank V8 any more than we expect it to sound like a flathead V8, the engine in the X6M doesn't sound much like a V8 at all. The biggest demerit to the X6M comes in its ride quality, which ranges from firm to unacceptably, jarringly firm, depending on how its air suspension is adjusted. On roads that are less than perfect, the head toss gets to be enough that wearing a helmet as protection against the suede headliner seems like a not terrible idea. And then you'd be ready for the track, which is where the X6M best acquits itself. Not that we imagine actually spotting any at track days. With a $103,050 base price, the X6M's window sticker is as extravagant as its test sheet. Save the snarky jokes about this being a German as they weren't all that funny when the first X6 showed up nearly a decade ago. And today, when the automotive world has gone all in on both horsepower and crossovers, what can we expect but things like the X6M? This sort of automotive indulgence has never made much sense, but that's exactly the point.